Permanent Junctional Reciprocating Tachycardia, Kumel Tachycardia, is known in short as PJRT. It is an orthodromic atrioventricular reentrant tachycardia using a concealed axillary pathway with decremental properties as the retrograde limb. Most often, it is a right postroceptal axillary pathway. Though it can occur at all age groups, majority are seen in children and young adults. It is a long RP tachycardia with inverted P waves in inferior leads. As the tachycardia is incessant, there is a chance for development of tachycardiomyopathy. Catheter ablation can be achieved in PJRT with low complication rate. But medical treatment is usually not that fruitful, though acute termination can be achieved only to be followed by a recurrence. It is named after Kumail P. et al. who described it in 1967. Pathological study by Grittali G. and colleagues showed that the axillary pathway was composed of ordinary myocardium joining the lower rim of the right coronary sinus outlet to the uppermost ventricular muscle. It had a sinus, tortuous path and a changing cross-sectional area. This could explain the decremental characteristics similar to the atrioventricular node. Usual axillary pathways do not have decremental properties. Usual slow fast atrioventricular nodal re-entrant tachycardia initiated by an atrial ectopic beat has a sudden PR jump as the ectopic beat travels down the slow pathway. PJRT is also initiated by a critical shortening of atrial cycle length but without the PR jump which is characteristic of typical slow fast AVNRT. Though the involved postroceptal pathway typically conducts only retrogradely, slow andrograde conduction has been documented after ablation of the His bundle. Bilateral postroceptal axillary pathways have been described in PJRT. They found earliest activation in mid septal region just above the coronary sinus ostium during right atrial mapping. Ablation at that site produced interruption of PGRT for 3 minutes. When the tachycardia resumed, there was no evidence of earlier right atrial activation. Successful ablation was then performed by retrograde aortic catheterization in the left postroceptal region. Others presumed that it could be either dual axillary pathways or a strand of the same broad left pathway which caused the early right atrial activation initially. First set of references. Second set of references. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.